Hey guys, this is uh, Death Condor and Vape 666. Today we're uh, hopefully going to show you a little trick we found in the uh, Feed the Beast modded Minecraft expansion of how to get energy from the Nether. Um, we did see Direwolf's uh, video on how to do it with the Miscraft expansion, but uh, we don't currently have those uh, portals that you can run um, minecarts through. So, oh, hello, say hello. Do, sir. <laughs> so what we've got on the, on this side uh, in our base, we've got a, a lovely great big storage tank and we're basically using um, colour coded ender chests to uh, transport lava buckets between the nether and here. Um, we're using a liquid um, transmuter, or what was it called? Thanks liquid fun. liquid transposer that's the one so basically what we get is we get full lava buckets coming through here going into going into our uh, transposer and it uh, strips the buckets out empty sends them back through the green ender chest and puts the lava into our tank for usage on power um, we've set up a world anchor at both ends so that uh, the server can keep both of these contraptions going. And as you can see, we've got a healthy stream of lava buckets coming through. So if we wander off over to the nether, are you uh, coming along? I'll join you. Pop through. And here we are in the nether. Oh, bit of lag. And here's our setup in the nether. So again, we've just got the uh, pumps pumping the lava up and out into our liquid transposer, the empty buckets coming from our green chest from the overworld and filling them up and sending them back via the red chest. As one would say, simples. We did try the minecart system, but uh, ultimately they won't go through the portal. So this seemed to be the next best alternative. And we still haven't figured out whether the, uh, the energy that we're putting into all of these engines is actually uh, equal to or less to than the buckets going across, but uh, it's free energy, so all is good. Might be worth mentioning how to config the transponder. Ah, yes. So in the, in the transposer, you have two modes. You've got loading and unloading. Um, there's a, a little water bucket in the middle here. Um, basically, it toggles on and off. One mode is emptying, one mode is filling. Um, the transposer energy on the left is how much power you've got in the transposer. It needs quite a lot. So we've used um, an electric engine with a geothermal uh, motor from the lava because redstone engines just weren't cutting it. On the right hand side, you can see the, the lava storage that it can internally store. Uh, and the configuration panel here down the green button, you can change the inputs and the outputs uh, to any color that you want. Um, the blue uh, the blue connections are for uh, the liquids coming in and the buckets coming in. The red is for your output, whether that's filled buckets or empty buckets. Um, and you can change them as many as you want on each so that you can actually have a couple of engines on them. But uh, in this case, we've, we're have we managing with just one electric engine with a uh, bronze electron tube upgrade. So I think that's pretty much it. Um, we are trying to empty the nether, so I'm just going to quickly show you Vape's uh, um, nasty little contraption over here. We have a uh, bit more lag. Got lots more geothermal generators and furnaces sucking out the lava and creating UU matter hidden away here how many are we up to just nearly a stack 
And I think that's enough for us. This is probably going to be quite a big size. So, Death and Vape signing off. Cheers, guys.